today we're going to be unboxing the WL Toys WL915 Speedboat. I've seen it anywhere from around 60 bucks to maybe like 106 depending on where you shop at. It's a 45 kilometers per hour. It's not the fastest brushless boat, but it does move. 2.4 gigahertz, two channel radio, comes with that in the box. Br powerful brushless motor, it says powerful propeller. Collective pitch 3D boat. Not sure what that means, but figure it out. I have the, the red boat, and it also comes in green. And uh, open it up. Little instruction book, short instructions, little part stack. Here's the actual boat. One thing I loved about this boat was the fake outboard it has here that it's all hollow, it's hollow plastic, but it's, it's on the rudder and it looks really cool. I had I had an old video game, PlayStation 1 game. You race around these little little tunnel boats, which was what drew me to this. Pretty awesome little boat. You look on the side here, it has these little holes, a bigger hole in the back here. And that helps it with, uh, it comes with self-riding, so you, when you're stuck underneath, upside down the water, just hit it, and it'll, it'll flip right over. It has two little clips on the back here, pop those off. One in the front. Pull that off. You can look, get it, look inside here. Water cooled ESC, water cooled brushless motor. Comes wired with Dean's connectors. Servo back here. Battery goes right in here. Water cooling gets sucked up through here on the on the rudder. Comes through on this side here, around through the ESC, through the motor, and it comes right out right out the back here. It does come with a boat stand. I'm probably gonna make a little one out of styrofoam. It does come with a little 2.4 radio, something real, real common radio with all the WL toys. Forward and reverse, everything's full proportional. Uh, throttle and steering. You can set your throttle and steering trim right here on the radio. A little bag of parts here. Looks like we got charging adapter and. I bought it from Hobby King. They gave me the option to pick the American or the Chinese. If you if you get the the Chinese one, it comes with the the European adapter here. That's the little power supply for the charger. Charger here. So I got a uh, extra prop and some Ellens to work on the on the little boat. And this is a three cell, 1200 milliamp uh, battery. I did look. It doesn't say on here, but on the box it does say it's a 20 C. So it's one of the lower discharge rates. And uh, overall, it's a, a nice looking boat. I have watched another review and they did say with these holes, you might want to cover up a couple of them because when, you, when you're sitting at a sand still, they, they tend to fill up and your boat will start to, to land inside. Once you get going, they'll empty out. I am going to get a running video, which won't be today, but uh, it'll be the same video for you guys. And um, we'll go head down to the reservoir and and test this boat out. So don't forget to click subscribe. I have one of the original uh, team associated 118th MTs. I'm going to be converting it into kind of like a, a short uh, desert race buggy. I got some going to get some new tires. I have new parts for it. I'm going to tearing this all down, rebuilding it up. I also have another WL Toys. This is a 124th short course truck. And I'm gonna be building a, a complete track for this out of insulation foam, and it's gonna it's gonna look pretty realistic, like like dirt, and it's gonna be completely modular. One thing I haven't seen done before, I've searched the internet, and it's gonna be completely modular to where it's gonna be similar to like Hot Wheels, or if you've ever played Track Mania on the computer, to where you can customize your track because you always get bored of running the same track over and over and over. 
So you're gonna be able to customize it, switch jumps, turns, wherever you want it. And then it's gonna be also, I'm gonna be building a bigger track for the 118s and eventually probably one of the one, you know, my bigger 110th cars. So we finally made it out to the reservoir. We got the boat out, it's all charged up. We're gonna toss in the water and see how it does. pretty quick probably at the same speed as maybe a stock uh, tracks to slash the truck a lot of people are familiar with and um, you do have to be careful when you're when you're turning left because these holes will the, the nose will tend to this fork here will tend to dip in and it'll fill up with water and we did have a lot of a lot of weeds out there I was getting caught and it's hard hard to see under the glare of the water but overall it's a pretty good boat for an, for a cheap price good entry-level boat and uh, battery time was maybe close to six six to ten minutes on here I didn't didn't time it I'll probably get another run and I'll time it and write it in the description there but overall it's a good boat all right now we're gonna try the the self riding feature I did it a couple times out there we'll do it up close so you can see it the little holes on the, on the side start to fill up and it does it pretty much all by itself and you're good to go down.
after after the the run first run nothing got too warm everything's pretty cool to the touch the water cooling did great battery did get a little warm but that could have been because i was plowing through a ton of weeds over here and uh it did get caught several times in the weeds and but i mean nothing too bad and um just a little bit of water in there nothing nothing at all I and mean, it duck dived several times rolled it several times self riding worked every time the one thing i might do is cover up a few of these holes like someone else said in another review just to keep it from uh filling up with so much water when you're going around when you're hitting turns a little bit a little bit faster but um i mean the boat did pretty good it's a it was you can find it from like 60 to 106 bucks and i mean for that price i mean it's a pretty fast boat comes with a battery radio everything you need ready to run and it's brushless can't really ask for much more for that price